Buhai, and welcome to Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. Today, I'm activating my nerdiness, and I'm going to start a Dragon Ball Z-themed 100 Baby Challenge in The Sims. The 100 Baby Challenge has lots of rules, and they'll be linked in the description below. But right off the bat, I'm going to break the first two. You're not supposed to use the same dad twice, and they're not supposed to live in the household with you and or help with the bills. I can't do that. I gotta love on my power couple, Vegeta and Bulma. There's no way that I could break them up or have them, you know, not be a couple. It just, it just doesn't work. Normally, you only have one matriarch who has different fathers for each of their babies. But again, I just can't do this for Bulma and Vegeta. So we're going to play with these two for generation one and see where it takes us. But first, a quick disclaimer. The Sims is rated T14, specifically ages 12 and up. It contains non-realistic looking violence towards human characters, character death, and sexual innuendo. Viewer discretion is advised. Anyone under the age of 12 needs parental guidance or to click away. I can wait. Okay, anyone here after this point should be 12 or older. <laughs> You've been warned. All right, let's get into it. So our current household members are Dr. Boxer Briefs, Panchi Briefs, Bulma Briefs, and Prince Vegeta last name unknown <laughs> this story will not totally be canon if it was it would be super boring because we all know what akira toriyama has already given us and i don't want to just replay exactly verbatim what is in the show in the sims so yeah a lot of this is going to be some wild interpretation we'll see what happens so our story picks up at Capsule Corp after the Dragon Balls were used and the destruction of planet Namek. So the Namekians and coincidentally Vegeta need a place to stay now that they're all officially homeless. Bulma speaks with Moro and Dende and the rest of the displaced Namekians. With some support from Piccolo and Gohan, they agree to stay at the Capsule Corp extension properties until the Dragon Balls are able to be used again and they can get to a new planet. Moro was worried about the weather. Whereas little Dende was much more excited about Earth food. We gotta get some McDonald's in there, some in and out something. He's gotta check out all the Earth food. Vegeta agrees to stay and was pleased to discover a full area for him to train. So three months go by and Bulma and Vegeta find themselves in a space where they can put up with each other's company. Spending much of their time either fighting over meals, arguing over broken equipment, or otherwise just trying their best to ignore each other. Bulma thinks that he smells like feet. After training, sometimes he doesn't want to shower, and he eats so much food, and yet leaves the dirty dishes everywhere. Unfortunately for Bulma, keeping Vegeta at arm's length would become extremely difficult after he witnesses her breakup with Yamcha, her longtime boyfriend. So Yamcha had been unfaithful to Bulma before, but she somehow was able to overlook it and move on. However, this time it happened at her house with one of her closest college friends. And Vegeta came out to soak his muscles after another one of his 72 hour training sessions and witnessed far more than he would have cared to. Mushinabuno smack. 
Zombwayina. After Bulma dealt with her old college friend Christine and gave her a stern talking to and had her escorted off of Capsule Corp property, then it was Yamsha's turn. Another queen. Oh, do no why. <laughs> and she just laid into him. He tried really hard to try to work his charms on her again to try to get her to stay, but in the end, she kicked him off property as well. Over the course of the next month or two, Bulma threw herself into working out, trying to make herself the best person that she could be, making repairs to the gravity chamber, and coincidentally, making more excuses to be around Vegeta. One evening after dinner, Dr. Briefs decided it was the perfect time to test an artificial drink that he had created that would help mental focus, decrease fatigue, and increase tissue repair. Perfect for bodybuilders or anybody that's working out and tends to stress themselves physically. So the first subjects would be himself, Mrs. Briefs, Bulma, and Vegeta. Unknown to Dr. Briefs, there were some unexpected side effects. The next morning, Vegeta was so mortified by what had happened, he couldn't face anyone, especially Bulma. He had allowed feelings he'd ignored, and useless emotions get in the way of his goal to become the legendary Super Saiyan. At sunrise, Vegeta stole his spaceship and ran away to outer space. While away, Vegeta pushed himself to the limits, training to the point of near death during a meteor shower before returning back to Earth eight months later, a full-fledged Super Saiyan. Almost immediately after returning to Earth in Capsule Corp, Bulma was yelling at Vegeta, heavily pregnant. Vegeta was surprised, shocked, but understood her anger, her fear, as well as his own. He, of course, would never allow himself to show it. Realizing the full gravity of what was happening, Vegeta quickly reined in his anger and worked to patch what little of a relationship that he had had with Bulma. They would have to take things one day at a time. 
Yama's brother. <laughs> Ebony. Lisa. Oh. Dahish. Over the next month, Vegeta trained Bulma physically for the stresses that her body would go through. Normally, Saiyans had their babies surgically removed and placed in a stasis pod to help them grow and mature until around the age of six. Saiyan women couldn't be bothered to carry the squalling pups to the full nine months or to care for them during their weakest time as infants. It interfered with missions and fighting and just the Saiyan lifestyle in general. This would be a new adventure for all of them. Bruna Boomimo. All right, here we go. So we're at the hospital, and the baby's coming. The baby's coming. The baby's coming. Okay, so this is my first time going with a sim to the hospital. We have a really old nurse and the receptionist. What are we gonna do? Is this the check-in? What are we supposed to do? Nurse. Oh, 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 okay. So I just clicked on Bulma, so I guess we're just here already. What the heck? Is that Elmer's glue? You're not gonna patch my girl up with Elmer's glue, are you? Vegeta, where are you? <gasps> it's a boy! <laughs> okay. Trunks, of course. Baby number one. He's already in the back. Oh. <laughs> oh, now you show up. Good job, Dad. <sighs> no, the baby! Baby trucks. Oh my gosh, that is Elmer's glue. What are they doing? Elmer's glue. <laughs> okay, so we are home. I want to say Bulma is having a snack and Grandma Panchi is playing with baby trucks and giving him a baba. Yay. Dad is sleeping. Oh, <laughs> apparently the first night with a newborn was rough. He took first shift, Bulma slept, and apparently this is the only place where he can get away from the squalling infant. He's just chilling by the lava lamp. I don't know why he's in a pink bassinet, but we're not going to judge. We're going to pretend that that was a purple bassinet. <gasps> There's Grandpa. Grandpa briefs coming to hang out. You can see all of Bulma's artwork off to the side that she drew when she was a kid. Oh, you're gonna change diapers? He needs a diaper change, Grandpa. You can see Bulma is sleeping through the mirror. You can see her sleeping next to her giant teddy bear. Come on, Grandpa, change a diaper. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Grandpa. Yes, you are number one grandpa. Fabulous. Chillin', chillin' baby. Bulma's still sleeping. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, but she's still asleep. Oh, it's Trunks' birthday. So that means that it has officially been three days in Sims time. So that means that we finally get to age him up to a toddler because Babies in The Sims are kind of useless. They're objects until their birthday. You just feed them, change them, make sure they don't get taken away, but they can't do anything other than be obnoxious. Just this baby. And he autonomously did a lot of this. So we're just gonna leave it here and we will Hopefully see you back here in the next one when we age 
baby chunks up into a toddler. And then we get this 100 baby challenge going because we got to see how many babies Bulma and Vegeta can have before one of them dies. Because then when one of them dies, then one of their children has to pick up the mantle and continue. Because there's no way that a Sim can actually have 100 babies. Usually it's like three to four generations before 100 babies. Yes. So we'll see what we can ha what can happen in the meantime. 